Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 next gen build video. And today I have a special 50 point Jason Tatum build, man. 50, man. You know what I'm talking about? This build will be able to finish great. You get gold fast twitch on this build. You will be able to get the contact dunks. You will have great standard dunk on this build. You can shoot lights out from the three and the mid range, okay? You get that Hall of Fame mid and magician just in case you want to razzle dazzle in the mid range. You will be able to get gold quick first step and you can play some defense. So make sure. You watch the video to the end so I can show you guys how I created this masterpiece. We are going to powerful position, the hand of your choice, and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is, man. It's like button time. Go down there, hit that like button. Let's get this video to 50 likes. That's the goal, and I need you guys to do that for yeah, boy, boy. Now, this beard right here is 6'8", 210 pounds for the weight, 75 wingspan, built body shape as if you care because I still don't care about that body shape. Let's go. And as you guys can see, we are starting with the finishing for this build because we do want to have some great finishing for this particular build. So for the close shot, like I said, we do get gold fast twitch. And in order to get gold fast twitch, you need an 85 on the close shot. You don't have to go that high if you don't want to. I know a lot of people out there will probably take it down some, but I just decided to do something a little bit different with this build. So that's why we have the 85 close shot for this build. For the driver layer, we're going to get that up to a 79. Most of you probably want to take it up one more tick to an 80, but I didn't get anything extra at an 80, so I took it to a 79. For the driver dunk, we're going to get that up to an 86, and that will allow us to get posterized on silver. We also get contact dunks, and we get that limitless takeoff on gold. Limitless takeoff on gold is very, very, very important. It will take your build to another level if you have that badge on. For the standard dunk, we're going to take that standard dunk up to a 77. If you want gold rise up, just take it up to an 80. That's totally up to you. But I left it at a 77, and that will give us 20 finishing badges for this build, which is really, really good. And with those 20 finishing badges, I will go with limitless takeoff, slithery, posterizer, fast twitch, fearless, and rise up. Those are the badges that will take this build to another level when it comes to finishing. Once you are able to core tier 3 badge, which you should try to core limitless takeoff on gold, that will give you a plus 7. So you'll go from 20 to 27. Let's see how many you need. 7, 13, 19, uh, 24, okay, uh, 29. You need about 30. So we got 20. We'll get a plus 7. That'll be 27. You probably need 3 more from the rebirth. But that's totally up to you if you want to go that route. But let's get into the green bean. Make your girl scream badge. This bill can't shoot, no doubt about it. So... For the three-point shot, we're going to get that up to an 85, and the 85 is a good three-point shot for any build. I don't care what position you are in or at, and, um, you know, having that three-point shot will give you that range to step outside the three-point line, man. That's what you really want. For the mid-range shot, we're going to take that up to an 81. That's how we get the name that we got. For the free throw, we're going to get that to a 62. And as you guys can see, you do get 23 uh, green bean, make your girl screen badger with this bill, man. That's very important for this particular bill. I want you guys to go out there and shoot you some fades or whatever. This is a shot creator. You will have a shot creator takeover. So that's very important when it comes down to it, okay? So the badge I want you guys to use is Amp, Claymore, throw in that middle magician. We can use the Asian 3 if you like to shoot from the uh, three-point line. Well, fade at the three-point line, you have that badge. So if that's something you want to do, then go ahead and do it. We will use corner specialist, catch and shoot. And you can throw in a limitless range if you want to. That's totally up to you. But once you're able to call a tier three badge, which you probably want to do catch and shoot, that will be a plus seven. So that really will put you at about 30 shooting badges for this build. And that's very, very important for anybody that's trying to go out there and shoot really good. Okay. But let's go ahead and get it to the south. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody and their mama can see this video. And I need everybody and their mama to see the video. So do that for your boy, boy. Speed with ball, we're going to get that to a 77. Ball handle is a 85. All right, that will give us that goal quick first step, man. That's very important for any build. Everybody wants that badge, and you do have that badge on this build. For the pass accuracy, we're going to get that up to a 74. If you want to higher, you go ahead and take it up higher, but you do get 20 playmaking badges for this build. Now, the badge that I would use will have to be handled for days. Clamp Breaker 2, very important badges. Um, you can throw in Needle Thread if you want to. Um, you know, you're not the primary ball handler, so you're not um, um, the primary passer or whatever, if that makes sense. Uh, quick First Step is a badge I would use. Hyperdrive, Anchor Breaker, and that's probably about it, man. You know, um, once you're able to core tier 3 badge, you will get a plus 6. So that plus 6 will give you guys uh, 26 total 
badges when it's all said and done, okay? So, um, we're going to get into the defense, and I did want this build to have some defense because I don't want you guys to go out there and be a liability on defense. So, of course, we had to get to build some defense. Now, for the interior defense, we're going to get that up to a 61. Not saying you need a whole lot of interior defense, but you do have some interior defense on this build so you can go out there and slow people down in the paint. Not saying you're going to stop centers or anything like that, but you will have um, some perimeter, I mean, some interior defense for like guards or whatever that you get matched up on. For the perimeter defense, we want to get that to an 86 because we do want silver clamps for this build. Silver clamps are very important. It is tier 3, and I don't like that. I wish it was tier 1 or tier 2, but hey, man, it is tier 3. That's an important badge, and that's a badge I think you guys should use. For the steel, we're going to get that up to an 85 because we do want uh, go a silver glove, and we want silver interceptor. Since you are 6'8", glove is tier 2. If you were 6'9", glove would be tier 1, and that will be a lot better than it is now, but, you know, you're still good with that. For the block, we're going to get that up to a 75. A 75 block is not bad. That will give you gold chase down artists, and gold chase down artists is very important when it comes down to getting blocked. So you want to get those blocks with this build. You want to be out, out there affecting shots, and, uh, you know, you got anchor on this build as well. For the offense rebound, we're going to get that to a 60. What we got, a 69. And, um, you know, you're not dependent on – they won't depend on you to get a lot of rebounds. But you can get some rebounds, okay? So if you want to change it, that's fine. And we got a 74 on the defense, okay? So if you want to use that rebound chaser badge, you do have access to it. I would use clamps, uh, glove, pogo, interceptor, chase down, box, and I'll probably throw in uh, a rebound chaser and anchor if I have enough badges. So that will be 10, 16, 19, uh, 23, uh, 27. Let's say 29. You got 22, you'll get a plus 6 with clamps. So you can take one badge from your rebirth and add it to the defense look at the combination though 20 23 20 and 22 not bad at all this is a very versatile build this build could do a little bit of everything so for the physical man the speed is an 80 acceleration 78 strength i didn't worry too much about the strength you can take that up if you want to uh 75 on the vert and the rest is on stamina now let's get into the takeover so we have shot creating this build is a shot creator we have sharp shooting playmaking and big lock, we're just gonna choose something for the video. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, we do have shades of Jason Tatum right there. We got Scotty Bonds and we got Andre Kirilenko. His name is always popping up. And I really like the name of this build, man. We have a three level shot creator. Great name right there, man. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Love though, they love you and I'm out of here. Like last year, y'all. Charge!